Time for us to talk about our main event of the evening and we're going up to the UFC World Weight Division. It's another rematch. It's Kamara Usman who is taking on the number one ranked Colby Covington. A rematch nearly two years in the making. The first match took place at UFC 245. Now I have to hold my hands up for this one. If you go back and you watch the 245 preview show, I was not enthusiastic for this fight. I thought we've got two guys who aren't really all that likable. They're both primarily wrestling based. I just thought we were going to get ourselves quite a dull, unworthy main event. Kamara Usman versus Colby Covington, UFC 245, completely proved me wrong. It was a fantastic matchup. We get to run it back. The question is, should we, bearing in mind what Colby has, or in this case hasn't done, to warrant the title fight? I mean, yeah, since the first fight, Colby has just been so active, knocking off top contender after top contender. I mean, he's really just solidified himself as one of the most active fighters in the game. You know, wait, wait a minute. Oh, I forgot. Never mind. He's only had one fight against the ghost of Tyron Woodley. Um, and, you know, that was over a year ago. That was in September of 2020. And here we are 14 months later with this guy, no fights, and he's getting a title shot. I don't understand that logic at all. Um, I mentioned it earlier in the podcast. Leon Edwards, uh, these guys, uh, Camaro and Leon fought um, six years ago. The fight was, you know, extremely competitive. And um, actually, you know, I was, I, you know, Usman won the fight very decisively, but the wrestling honestly pretty competitive like leon handled himself really well in that fight and if you haven't seen it you should go watch that fight leon edwards though since then nine fight win streak over five years uh coming off the nate diaz win i thought it was kind of a no-brainer that he would get the next title shot but it doesn't seem like that's the direction they went in they're matching uh jorge and leon up which is pretty cool uh, that does kind of soften the blow you know at least if leon is getting screwed out of his title shot at least they're giving him another high profile fight if you need an example, just you highlighted it there about Colby's inactivity. I was looking through some stats. If you look at the UFC welterweight top 15 right now, Colby hasn't got a win over anybody else ranked in the top 15. Doesn't really shock me. I mean, I think this guy has been extremely overrated throughout his career. Um, the guy's obviously a great athlete, incredible gas tank, great cardio, um, great wrestler. Um, and I think he is a good fighter overall. I just don't think he is particularly elite in any one area. And I think that his, his striking is just a little bit too basic. I mean, I think the guy, um, just doesn't really make much improvements in his striking. He has the southpaw stance. He throws out the one, two, he throws out a lot of punches, the bo a body kick from here and there, but I don't see a lot of varied offense in his game. I don't see him really sitting down on his punches and, in the Kamara Usman fight, he really proved that he's not really a, a defensively great fighter either. He kept getting hit with the same strikes, the same straight right to the body, the same straight right hand down the middle. And I just don't think that Colby Covington striking defense is that, that good. And he's going to be getting hit here by Usman, just like he was in the first fight. And unfortunately for Colby, since that first fight, it seems like Usman has gotten a hell of a lot better. Um, I think that's been proven in his past few fights you know he went to the de decision with Masvidal initially rematched him and knocked him out he knocked out Gilbert Burns and I just think this guy has been clearly leveling up in his his boxing his his striking his power and I just think Usman is probably at his all-time best right now he's hitting harder than ever and you know I'll, I'll go ahead and get my prediction right off the bat the last fight I was expecting to be more competitive in the first fight, the Zhang and Rose fight. I, I'm expecting the fight on Saturday to be much closer than their first fight. This fight, Colby versus Usman, I'm expecting to be less competitive in their first fight. I think that Usman's going to knock him out quicker than he did the first fight. I've heard someone describe Colby Covington striking as irritating in terms of there isn't like one big power punch that he throws that's going to knock you down. It's just constant pitter-pattering all the time. Left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand. And it just so it winds people up. I think we saw that probably best when he fought Robbie Lawler, where just Robbie mm. just couldn't get anything going because Colby was just on him all the time. So I give Colby a little bit more credit than what you do. I do think he's a better fighter than some people maybe want to admit. Obviously, bearing in mind he's got the whole shtick. He's got this sort of love to hate panto body role i think because of that a lot of people don't give colby covington the credit he maybe deserves one of the things i will say in regards to this fight though is 
You can make an argument going into 245 that Colby entered that fight as the A side. That was at the time when his stick was in full swing. It was mm -hmm. irritating a lot of people. And he came into that show sort of like the big panto baddie up against Kamara Usman, who was just seen as the boring, dull wrestler. This time around, though, Colby's stick doesn't have the same impact. He's been very inactive. And Kamara Usman, during that time, has completely transformed his perception. So you could argue going into this fight, Usman is now the A side. Yeah. It's kind of like uh, like pro wrestling. Like he was the the fans were behind the heel the first time, and now they the rematch they've kind of done a one eighty, and now the fans will probably be behind the face in Usman here. Um, and I'm glad to see it. I mean, remember that promo? I think it was after um, Covington beat Woodley. He was like, "I'm gonna kill you! I'm gonna kill you the next time I see you." I mean, it was just so pathetic that that that. You know, you have all this time to prepare for this promo. Um, you know, the guy claims he's, he's you know, good on the microphone and he's screaming, I'm going to kill you. Like, it's just the worst promotion, the worst trash talk I could possibly imagine. Um, and, you know, one thing you said about uh, Colby, you know, I think you think he's a little bit better. People think he's worse than he is because of the shtick. I think his fans think he's better than he is because of the shtick too. They, they, you know, they like his personality. They like the, the, the Trump stuff that he says. And then they think he's better because of that. But like you said, the, the, the proof is there. No top wins in the, uh, no wins in the top 15. There's no, nothing that can dispute that. You know, I guess Robbie Lawler is the closest thing to a top 15 win he has. And we saw how weak Rob, Robbie Law looked against Nick Diaz. Uh, you said weak? Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, I it, was okay. was a it was of... okay, but it was a sign that Robbie Lawler isn't the same fighter he was. Yeah. Yeah, but, you know, looking at his resume, uh, Colby, in the past few years, outside of the RDA fight, which a lot of people out there believe that Colby actually lost that fight, um, you know, outside of that fight, that's probably his most impressive performance in the past, you know, three or four years. Yeah, since... The guy's been extremely inactive. One fight a year for pretty much, you know, three or four years in a row. Um, but uh, w what are your th thoughts on a prediction for this one, Carl? What are you going with? I'm leaning in a similar boat to yourself. I think that Kamara Usman has made some big improvements in terms of his striking. And that was a very competitive kickboxing match between Usman and Colby first time around. But considering how active Colby's been and how good Usman's striking has now gotten... I think Colby's taking a big chance if he tries to use the same strategy he did first time around. If he tries that sort of pitter-patter, irritating, punching style, he's going to get wiped out by Usman. Where mm -hmm. I think Colby's going to have the best chance, and this might surprise a lot of people, I wouldn't be surprised if Colby tries wrestling. A big mm -hmm. reason why Usman has switch things up recently is because he's commented a lot that his knees aren't the same as they were back in his wrestling days he's not as comfortable going for takedowns if colby tries exploiting that and he's the one pushing the pace trying to go for the takedowns i can see him getting a lot of success yeah i mean i think that would be the best strategy from him um Going into this first fight, I spent you know a lot of time researching and talking about how the grappling exchanges would play out and I was predicting that Usman, you know, would be the better of the two in those exchanges, kind of based on the RDA fight where RDA was able to stand up from a lot of takedowns, was able to reverse and hit his own takedowns. And I thought that Usman would win the wrestling. And then, you know, it fooled us all. The fight didn't have any wrestling or grappling take place throughout the entire fight. It was pretty much entirely kickboxing. Um, and the first fight was close. Make no mistake about it. It was, it could have been three, one, either guy could have been two, two. They were close rounds, but, and I think a lot of people are, are thinking, Oh, the first fight was close. This fight will be close too. But if you look in round five, when you look at the shots that did damage and did the attritional damage, it was Colby who was slowing down from the body shots. It was Colby who started bleeding and started, you know, had his jaw hurt or whatnot. It was Usman's strikes that were the ones doing accrued damage in the fight. Sure, Colby was landing. He landed hundreds of strikes. But were they doing long-term damage to Usman? No, they weren't. Um, and that was evident because Usman was fresh in round five. He still had plenty of gas left, and it was just extremely evident that Usman was the harder hitter of the two. And since then, the guy's 
gotten his boxing even better. He's hitting even harder, and he knocked him out in the first fight. I just think it's going to take even less time to knock him out this fight, and I'm going to be going with a round three prediction for a Usman knockout. Um, that's going to be my pick. What about you, Carl? You've read my mind. I was going to go third round as well for the same reasons. <laughs> yeah, All I right, think first that... Half, first half of round three or second half? We got we to gotta find a way to disagree to see who's right next week. Second. <laughs> Okay, okay. I got first yeah. then. I just think that the the level of quality that Kamaru Usman is now really striking to is going to be too much for Colby. And unless Colby does change things up, and my inkling is that he's not, then mm -hmm. I, I see it. I think it's going to be a long night for Colby. And a lot of the fans on the opinion polls agree with that as well. I think first time these two fought, he was very close with the opinion polls. Usman 54%, Colby 46 This time around... Uh, Kamara Usman has, I'm going to try and get my mouse, mouse right here for this one, has, I believe, a 74% chance of winning this one. So Kamara Usman, mm. 74, Colby, 26. So you said he had 56 the first time? Uh, 54 first time around for Usman. Mm, yeah. That's close. Yeah, I mean, the odds were wider than that. I think he was, I think he was closer to like 57, 58% in the odds. So, um you know that fight. That fight played out close. I think a lot of people, like I said, are looking at this fight uh, to think it's going to be a similar dynamic to that fight. It's just Colby hasn't done anything since then. He's beaten the ghost of Tyron Woodley. That's not impressive. Jake Paul just did that, um, and I've just seen clear improvements from Usman. I think the guy's clearly leveling up. I don't think he's really reaching um, his ceiling yet. Like you said, he had, does have some athletic problems with his knees, but I haven't seen any signs of slowing down. So I see no reason to pick against Usman. The guy is a tank. I love watching him fight, and I think he's knocking Colby out here in round three, um, as late as round four.